If you've watched my videos before, you possibly know about what happened here. But for those of you who are new here, you don't know what's going on. This happened to me. This is my wheel. This was my front right wheel. And as you can see, there's some tire left, but the rest of it exists like this. So just a quick recap to what happened here. Basically, I got a flat tire on a, a fast back road and I didn't want to stop the car there and try and change the tire. So I pushed it to its limit and actually beyond its limit just to get down to a safer place to be able to change the wheel. What then happened was the tire completely separated away from the wheel and what I was left with were these two rubber bands. I'll take you in closer in a second. So what I did was recently in a video I cleaned up the wheel as best I could. I removed whatever rubber I could that was left on that was actually melted onto some of the rim to make it possibly easier for the tire fitters to remove this and hopefully to be able to fit a new tire. That's what's happening today. I don't know if they're going to be able to do this. I've spoken to them on the phone. Uh, this is really, uh, it's got loads of chunks here, but I'm hoping that basically as long as the bead is okay, that they're going to be able to change this tire for me. They've also very kindly allowed me to come down with my camera and film it. So we're going to find out today what the situation is. If they can rescue this, remove this old rubber and fit a new tire for me. That's all coming up in this video. So here's the close-up right here. So you can see I did a pretty good job of cleaning up the face of that wheel and most of what was uh, in the barrel there. You know, for, for a 10-year-old wheel, maybe a bit more than that, I think it's looking <laughs> not bad, to be honest. But here you go. This is what's left over. So bits of rubber. There's the bead going in there. You can see this is where I was basically stopping the car and it was rolling on the rim so that's when I knew I could not go any further and I just don't know if that will be detrimental to the wheel or not but they're gonna they're gonna tell me when I get down there hopefully so this is what a tire looks like once it's been separated that's that's where it was and you can see all the separation happening there and all the tearing that had happened this is not good and you can see there's bits of stuff bits of stones and grit and everything else in there where this was rolling on the road so this was really really bad don't ever do this but you know this is okay this is fairly solid the back of the wheel again along the lip there looks not too bad and hopefully they should be able to get a tire on there so we're about to find out I've got an appointment at four o'clock and right now it is just after 25 too so I'm heading down there very shortly to go and see what they can do with it. So this is the first machine they're gonna be using. This is the bead breaker. It is designed to get in to the bead of the tire and help to push the tire away from the rim or in towards the rim to uh, break that adhesive bead. There's a tire paste that is used on your tires when they're fitted to make sure that there's a good seal on the tires to make them airtight. That's what sticks and that's the purpose of this. But as you can see here, the plate that is used to push onto the sidewall of the tire, well, there's just no sidewall there. So it's very difficult for this guy. And he was trying really hard to get this in there to break that bead and it just kept sliding and rolling away and not giving him anything to grip onto. I had a chat with him and he said this is the worst he's ever had to tackle. But as you can see here, he did manage to break the bead on that first one. Now he has some experience, now he knows what he's looking for. He just has to try and line it up, get it in at the right angle and be able to push it. The inner strand of rubber, if you will, was even smaller than the outer one. So you can see there was even less for him to work with. But bless him, he did a cracking job, he kept going for it, he wasn't going to give up. And as you can see, 
he is working it away slowly, trying to, to pull that rubber away from the edge of the rim. And finally, there it goes. Two rubber bands. Then on to... Well, I don't know what this machine's called. I never bothered asking, but this is the thing that's designed to help remove the tires from the rim. Of course, they don't do things by hand these days. It's all machines to make things much faster. But these things are fantastic. He brings that down, gets some of the rubber up onto a little hook on the back of it. And as the wheel begins to spin, You'll see this coming off. If you've watched a tire being changed, you'll have seen this before. To be honest, this kind of thing fascinates me. But tools like this are great. I would like to see an old school tire fitting with just manual tools instead of uh, electronic or hydraulic machines doing it. But there it goes. Now he's spinning the tire around. The rest of this is just a standard tire fitting. He cuts off the old valve and throws that away. And a brand new valve goes into the wheel. In from the back. And this little tool just screws on and allows him to pull it in. And that's one valve and cap ready. The tire has the paste applied around the bead of the tire here, around the very edges. This will help it to slip onto the wheel, but also to become airtight. And he's used to just being able to throw these tires on and over, but uh, this one didn't quite want to go in a wanner. So the machine came into play again. The joys of machines and it just makes the whole job much easier i was giving him a bit of a, a hard time about this but he was a good sport about the whole thing really helpful guy really happy to uh, be on camera with me and uh, show me the ropes so that's it tire fitted now all it needs is to be inflated and balanced And that's what's remaining, the largest one being the outside and the small one being the inside. Now I'm just going to speed up the balancing here because you don't need to see the whole process. But this is an automated balancer and as you can see it spins, it tells him where to add a weight and how much weight needs to be applied. Thank goodness I cleaned the interior of this rim because the adhesive was then able to apply and stick a bit better. So there you have the finished article. I am really pleased that they were able to get this tire fitted for me. I'm pleased that there weren't any issues that were going to stop them from being able to do the job there. But you can see now we've gone from this to a brand new fitted tire. Yes, there is all sorts of curbing and damage around the wheel that was expected, obviously. I knew that was going to be the case. But this is going to be fine as a spare wheel now, because while this has been off, the spare is now my daily driver on the front right of the car. Granted, it's one of these. It's not a space saver or anything like that. It's another one of these full-size spare wheels. <laughs> Although I say full-size, it's, <laughs> it's only 14 inches. It's a small wheel. You know, my bicycle has bigger wheels than this. But that being said, this is going to be a, a perfect spare wheel. I know this is a good wheel now with a brand new tire. The tire has been sitting in storage at the tire fitters. So before I put this in the boot, I will make sure I give it a good scrub, a good clean, and I'll dress it with a, an appropriate long lasting dressing just to keep that rubber nice, just in case I ever need it again. But at least I know now that having this back in the boot of the car means anytime I have a flat, I will have my spare wheel back in the boot again. It's always very important you have something to support you when you have a flat, whether that is a spare wheel or one of those tire inflator kits with the foam, something like that just to get you to safety. That's the main thing. But I'm absolutely delighted with this. 
And a big thanks to my local tyre fitter who at the moment wish to remain nameless. That's absolutely fine by me. But anyway, I hope you guys found this video a little bit interesting. Uh, if you did, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And while you're there, make sure you ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next video upload. In the meantime, I've been Specky. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.